And welcome back. It's time to install Postgres SQL on our Windows machines. For this, as always, we look for the official downloader. By typing Postgres download into the Google search platform, the first result we get is the official Postgres downloads page. There we pick the Windows and win the download the installer. There we get redirected to another page, the ED Postgres enterprise db and now you have to watch out you have to pick the version for your right windows system as you know there are windows 64 bit and windows 32 bit versions just be sure that you pick the right one in my case it's the 64 bit version and i click on download this is a really huge file and for this i've already downloaded it and I cancel it here and close it. Let's move into my downloads directory and there I have the PostgreSQL installer. This is a normal installer and here it starts. Nice welcome page, click on next. The install directory, keep this path in mind. We will need this path afterwards. Hit next. Yes, we want to install everything with chips with Postgres SQL installer. The data directory, you can leave it. And now you have to define your password for the user Postgres. In this case, I will use test because it's short. Hit next. The default port, just leave it 5432 is the default port. The default local information just leave also this one and here we get a nice summary about what you configured and what you choose just hit next and now it takes a long time let me fast forward this that you don't have to wait whoo that was a really long installer now let us uncheck this one and hit finish let me close this and now let's have a look if it already worked as expected in our command prompt. By typing the command which you already know from Andre's videos, psql, hit enter, hmm, is not recognized as internal external command. Why not? We already installed it. Let me close the command prompt. To check if it is probably installed, you can use the tool which already ships with the installer. It's the PG admin. For this, move into the Postgres SQL 10 and choose PG admin 4. This is the program uh, with the graphical user interface. Andre uses on his Mac PSQL. But this one is not available on Windows. You can use pgadmin. This is the interface of this tool. Click on this plus sign and then again on this plus sign and on database Postgres and yeah, looks like it worked. We have installed Postgres SQL. Let me close this and have a look into this directory again. Here you see a lot of things and also a SQL shell, PSQL. Let us start this one. Hmm, server localhost is okay, just hit enter. Database Postgres, yes, just use this one. The port, yes, default port. And the username. What is the username? The default super user is Postgres. So just hit enter here again. And the password which you defined, in my case, it was test. And don't worry that you don't see anything if you enter the password. This is a normal security layer on the command prompt on such command line tools. They don't display the amount of characters so just type it in and press enter. All right, we are in Postgres mode. 
awesome, but I'm a guy who wants everything within one command prompt. And if I start the command prompt, I want to, want to use it also there. So let me quit it by hitting Ctrl C and typing yes. Again, move into, into the command prompt and try it again. Hmm, it doesn't work there. This is something I will show you to fix in the next lecture, because therefore we have to edit the system environmental path variable. You may remember it from the git lecture or the node.js lecture. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.